viewers, subscribers, wagwan. Big up on yourself. Thanks for checking out another video, you know, man. Yeah, man. So, right now we're talking about DJ Frost and not nice. I understand. And also Anthony Miller because Anthony Miller was the one that discovered and did the interview. Alice than nice accusation made by the dancehall producer, not nice, years ago about DJ Frost not being the creator of the rhythms under his DJ Frost record label was admitted as true after cleverly administrating ministered line of questioning by TVJ's no-nonsense entertainment journalist Anthony Miller. Miller pointed questions which he aimed at DJ Frost during an interview for the television Jamaica The Entertainment Report which aired last Friday saw the record label founder buckling under the directness of Miller's well-known and admitting that he was not the composer of the beats put out under his label. Frost and had just finished finish responding to Miller's question about his relationship with Chimney Records in which he said that he and both Chimney producers Jordan and McClure were still working together having established a relationship from 2008 and he was bowled for six by the veteran journalist but not nice went after you one time not nice said you that you do not actually work in the studio Miller said yeah but you are going now Miller we write song you know how much song we write DJ Fast responded so apparently DJ Fast is not um, the engineer behind the beats that produce under his label but he is a songwriter so where well, I say maybe he did a right for Alkaline at one point <laughs> we don't know what God can you do say how my Alkaline use a link up but they are no longer um, affiliated anyways no tell me Miller responded instantly then waited expectantly we write a lot of songs for top artists right we construct a lot of songs even if we don't play, play the instruments we still contribute and a man beat maker can't just send out a beat come give me 19% of the time and me say yo I want the vibe here or I want just so something you understand you understand yeah, that's why he must say, but I understand, but that's why he must say. DJ Ross said in an attempt to justify his actions, however, Miller directed him back to the statement made by Not Nice about him not having no part in the creation of the rhythms, many of which has attracted notoriety by for DJ Ross, including Clearance, Reggae Fest, Netflix, and Road to Success, according to Spotify. He never said that he, not nice, said that you are not the one who built the rhythms. Miller re emphasized effectively concerning DJ Frost. Puff Daddy, no Bill Rhythm. Most of the man them were Bill Rhythm, were part them, they know, to my level. DJ, TJ Records and enough other big pro time producer. Like, you have a lot of big producers like DJ Khaled. You have a lot of big producers in Jamaica with them no build with them, but them are big producer. Them orchestrate everything. Them know where them want first preferred. Miller even stated that when um, which further f squeezed Eve every last two out of DJ first providing that nice with vindication for his statements. So. You are an orchestrator. You have, <laughs> you have the ear. <laughs> Mill act. Yo, we want to deal with DJ first. We kidding about. Let's get into um some more of the, the interview. Zin, yes, first said meekly, and listen to me. The most of them were Bill Rhythm. Where are they now? Just tell me. I eleven year mina, it now. With DJ first now at his mercy, Bella. It looked like this not longer to answer. This it took you this long to answer. Not nice. No, me are not nice. No have no problem. Me are not nice. Good. No. We not have no problem. First said to the night King Midas producer. 
Still you know what I say? DJ Frost has been credited by platforms such as Spotify as an international acclaimed Jamaican producer who, who is the force behind some of the most popular influential dance with him this decade such as clearance with him, reggae fest, netflix and road to success as i mentioned before however first cavalier reference to the beat makers financial status versus his own commercial success during the television jamaica interview may just have a boomerang effect in january of 2017 greener article veteran music producer Cosi clark said it was against the law of producers to claim music created by beat makers as their own as copyright law gives clear protection to composers of beats and other types of intellectual property clark also said on the offending producers to quit while they are ahead as time will catch up with them for their unjust actions clark also said to the gleaner that although the, pro- the problem was not new it had did escalated it had been escalated in recent times with beat makers now growing extremely frustrated with the way that they have been treated by producers it has been going on for quite some time now and it is just a wicked and criminal act they are stealing people's work and not only are they the ones that are getting the benefit and the credit but they are also not giving them any of the earnings. Many of these persons, quote unquote beat makers, are approached by the producers and are asked to create a rhythm for them. He, the beat maker, then sells the rhythm. But what he has sold is the masters, which is the right to the rhythm and voice, as many people on it as he, the producer, wants. Clark explained. He has not sold his copyright. Some producers don't know this and think they are they bought the copyright. The copyright is not transferable by word of mouth. It has to be contractual, he said. Clark also recommend that beat makers get experienced music publishers on their team. As many as as many of them who believe that they are they have sold their rhythms still have their copyright as creators and should capitalize on earnings being generated from the use of their work automatically in law as the creator this person owns the beat it is a fact that after buying some of the rhythms these producers go behind the box of the beat makers and register it the work as their own as he explained He also said that if the beat makers are serious about being compensated for intellectual property, the matter can easily be resolved in court. If I am the creator of something, it is easy to prove. All I need to do is describe how I put this thing together from scratch and have physical proof to back it up. Clark pointed out, nothing that matter nothing that the matter was not just a local matter clark said beat makers may need a good music publisher with international affiliation to enable the rhythm to be registered in every country and everywhere database in every database in the world once that is done when anybody wants to use your work whether it is a song that has been gone international using your beat with will be compensated as the composer he said clark also said that creators beat makers and are the ones with the ultimate say in who earns from using their work the law does not question you if you are the creator anybody else who wants to use your work must get permission and nobody can tell you what they want to give you for it he declared no producer can tell any beat maker who is the composer slash creator that oh may i give you a change from this no he does not have the right what he can say is say to you as the creator is 
can you give me a share of your copyright? Clark asked. He also encouraged composers to look at the large picture, larger picture and not just dollar signs when negotiating deals involving their creative works and warned them that they, while they have given away a portion of their copyright, that they give away everything. So bear in mind, viewers and subscribers, that's it. I guess DJ Frost was DJ Trash after all. I know, I know my words. I, I just don't hear them call him still. <laughs> you see it? No offense still. But anyway, DJ Frost is just um, an orchestrator. Um, evidently, it would seem to be someone like um, uh, DJ Khaled. You see it? Your man, so enough respect. Bless upon yourself. Thanks for checking out that video. If you have reached to the end of this video, yo, just know, say, yo, videos them coming soon. I want to do some different videos. It's not the videos them we see on every dance or vlogger channel. That's it. So we just are giving you some different scope and some different knowledge based on dance. That's it. Bless upon yourself. And once again, 